Around seven months after Russian attack on Ukraine, the situation of battleground is quickly changing. The weapons, equipment, training, intelligence and tactical support being provided by the NATO countries has enabled Ukraine to withstand Russian might. NATO has deployed more than 100 manned and unmanned airborne surveillance assets to collect intelligence on Russian military movements in and around Ukraine. Let's review the top 10 reconnaissance aircrafts being used by NATO for spying on Russian forces. The first spy aircraft in action in the region is U-2 Dragon Lady. A detachment of this spy plane is stationed at Royal Air Force Fairford to carry out reconnaissance operations across Europe. As U-2 spy plane can be an easy target for the modern air defense systems, it is being operated around the edges of NATO territory. The unique intelligence gathering capabilities of U-2 spy aircraft could not be superseded even by the induction of RQ-4 Global Hawk. The spy plane is capable to carry various sensor uploads including the senior class electronic intelligence suit, wide-angle optical bar camera, long-range hyperspectral cameras, senior year electro-optical reconnaissance system 2, and advanced synthetic aperture radar system 2. While operating at more than 70,000 feet, the U-2 can gather and transmit real-time intelligence to ground stations via satellite data links. The second aircraft on the list is remotely piloted RQ-4 Global Hawk surveillance aircraft. The most advanced Block 40 version of this high-altitude aircraft are considered the most advanced unmanned system currently being operated by the US Air Force. The Global Hawks are equipped with electro-optical suit, ZPY-2 active electronically scanned array radar and electronic intelligence gathering suits. The ZPY-2 AESA radar can provide GMTI tracking functions and SAR imagery. Capable to conduct high-altitude reconnaissance missions, the RQ-4 can fly at 60,000 feet while remaining away from Russian territory. The aircraft can remain airborne for extended time period, thus capable to provide extensive live intelligence and surveillance. U.S. Coalition is continuously operating RQ-4 from the Italian island of Sicily since the war broke on 24th Feb this year. The third aircraft being used for sniffing Russian military movement is American MQ-9 Reaper. The U.S. Air Force has stationed unknown number of MQ-9 Reapers at Naval Air Station Signela in Italy. Moreover, the drone has also been deployed in Romania. Reportedly, MQ-9 drones are being used for surveillance of Black Sea. The next aircraft on the list is TB-2. The Turkish-made TB-2 drone of Ukraine is playing extremely vital role in the conflict. It is one of the most valuable assets Ukrainian freedom fighters have for intelligence gathering and carry out precision strikes against key Russian targets. The electro-optical infrared sensor turret installed on the TB2 drones has made them highly efficient reconnaissance gathering tool apart from being a strike platform. With the capacity to carry heavy sensor payload, TB2 drones are continuously being operated for surveillance missions in the Ukraine's western region and at borders areas with Crimea. The United States is also operating the EP-3 electronic signal reconnaissance aircraft in the region for maritime intelligence gathering. The EP-3, which is a reconnaissance variant of P-3 Orion, is capable to provide signal intelligence, intercept communication, locating and classifying electronic signal emitters and enemy air defense systems. The U.S. Navy is operating this aircraft from U.S. Naval Support Activity Station Sauda Bay to monitor Russian naval assets in the Black Sea and its military movements in the disputed territory of Crimea. NATO has also deployed P-8 Poseidon multi-mission maritime aircraft for wider maritime surveillance missions since the start of Ukraine war. The most advanced radar and cameras installed on the aircraft can provide wider intelligence during the day and night. 
the electronic intelligence suite installed on the aircraft can detect, geolocate, and classify hostile targets. The newly installed advanced airborne sensor on the aircraft has enhanced its lateral surveillance capabilities. The United States Navy and Royal Air Force are operating the P-8 Poseidons to track Russian activities in the Black Sea, Mediterranean Sea, and English Channel. The U.S. Navy is also operating the aircraft from Naval Air Station Sigonella. The next aircraft on the list that is being used to monitor Russia is EHC Battlefield Management Command and Control Aircraft of U.S. Air Force. The EHC is capable to provide synthetic aperture radar imaging, can draw radar maps of the battlefield and can track moving targets. The aircraft can track and locate Russian air defense systems, long-range missile launchers, artillery and other heavy armor systems in and around Ukraine. As Russian military power mostly relies on heavy military equipment, the EHC can provide real-time reconnaissance and intelligence of the key enemy assets. It can be operated during day and night missions in all weather conditions. Another aircraft on duty is the Signal Intelligence Specialist RC-135 VW Rivet Joint. The aircraft is capable to draw complete electronic order of the battle by geolocating and categorizing radio frequency emitters, radars, communication nodes, air defense systems, and electronic warfare systems. These capabilities make the RC-135 extremely useful in Ukraine war to draw Russian ground formations and movements by tracking radar emissions. The aircraft is being operated in the region by U.S. Air Force and Royal Air Force. The river joint aircraft can be particularly useful against Russian advanced air defense systems by locating these systems and passing the data to Ukrainian TB2 drones for strike. Moreover, the signal intelligence and technical data being compiled by the RC-135 can be of great significance for NATO if the conflict expands. In the wake of recent fears about the use of tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine by Russia, the role of RC-135 is further enhanced due to its nuclear sniffing capabilities. The sensors of the aircraft can detect radioactive particles in the environment. The aircraft was also used by the United States to detect radioactive emissions after USS Connecticut collided with underwater mountain in South China Sea in October last year. Another spy plane active in the region is U.S. Army RC-12X Guardrail Intelligence Aircraft. The twin turboprop short-range small RC-12X is based on the Beechcraft King Air Light Utility Aircraft. Since the start of the conflict, more than three sorties of the aircraft per day are being flown by the Allied nations in the region. It can intercept and locate the enemy communications. The U.S. Army's test aircraft Artemis is also active in the conflict. Based on the Challenger 650 business jet, the Airborne Reconnaissance and Targeting Multi-Mission Intelligence System aircraft or commonly known as Artemis aircraft is a test program of U.S. Army for the development of next-generation airborne intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance system. It has been deployed in the Europe to test its capabilities in the real-time hostile environment. The aircraft is being operated from the Mihail Air Base in Romania for reconnaissance and intelligence missions along the borders of Ukraine, Crimea, Belarus, Kaliningrad, and over the Black Sea. The deployment of these airborne surveillance assets by the NATO in conjunction with space-based high-tech platforms and human intelligence can provide real-time situational awareness of the battleground. This intelligence can serve as a tool to confine the conflict. However, at the same time, the sudden encounter of these NATO assets with Russian aircrafts is potential threat of further escalations. Please like, share and subscribe for more updates.